and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We have a little muty going on by our cameraman, so... Today we're going to talk about nine advanced hip mobility exercises. You might need a strap or towel. At the end of the, end of the video, we're going to show you our giveaway. So let's go start it, Brad. Let's get right into this. Stretch okay, those hips. Okay, you're going to lie on your back, and we're going to first, now these are advanced ones, you're going to grab your ankle, and you're going to push on your knee, and you're going to work on hip external rotation. You can really give her a good grab, and Brad actually uses the strap to do this one. Yeah, you don't need it, but it, it comes in handy. This is the way I do it at home. It's just kind of habit now. Stretch. All right. Let's go right into internal rotation now, Brad. This one's bad for me. I grab the ankle, grab the outside of the knee, and I'm trying to leverage it. But uh, I I really, oh. Th this, the strap really does help me because I can pull with the strap. Pull it right and, around. Yep, and then I use the ground for a little pivot point. All right. This one, I don't know if Brad invented it, but he's the first one that showed it to me. You cross your ankles and you grab on to your ankles and you're going to pull forward like this and give a good abductor stretch. Yep. I'm just going to do it with the strap. Yep. Strap on, strap off. And I, we can't do it with feet touching like this. That's sure. Really you can do it both ways. That's a little more. Oh, that one's a little more advanced. Yeah, that's a little Ooh, more advanced. Baby. So cross might be the way you start and then work into that all right uh, now we're going to do the hip adductor stretch so we're gonna, what we're going to do is going to get up on your knee you might actually use a pad if you're a little sensitive on the knees yeah you can use a pillow if you don't have a pad but you're going to go like this oh give a good hip adductor stretch mm. yeah you know this is one of my least favorite of the ones but these are the ones i have trouble with the most too all right, then we're to go into the 90-90 position. 90-90. 90-90. So that refers to 90 the, degrees of flexion. Right angle. Nine, of knee flexion knee. and hip flexion. Okay. So there we go, just like this. So we're looking down and bending the knee there, bending the knee there, and yeah. then what? Well, then you can lean forward okay. on the late lead leg. Like oh, that. Yeah. But the harder one for me is to try to rotate back. I'm oh. trying to rotate, and you feel a stretch yeah. on this one. No, I Am can, I correct, Brad? You feel that? Well, yeah. My I'm limited because this bothers my back, and I'm, oh, not, sure. I'm not even going to try it because i got a back. My spondy is not going to tolerate it. Now, you certainly can do it the other way around, too. Yeah. I'll watch. And it's funny. I... It's it's different for both sides for me. Like this one, I can go or I can rotate a little sure, bit. Sure. Yeah. So uh, this one apparently I'm a little bit better on the left side. Yep. All right. Next one. Um, it's actually a frog technique, I believe oh, they call it. So this you is just a good get, one. Yeah. Oh, this is a bad one for me. So you're gonna have your legs abducted and you're gonna try to sit back like a frog. Oh my God! I don't have much motion there. Yeah, I mean, you sound like an old man, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. <laughs> Breathe. <sighs> oh. You know, you can go like this and cheat and go like that, but no, you got to keep your ankles out. Yep, that makes a big difference oh, from here. Oh, lordy, lordy. Yeah. So <laughs> nice soft carpet or some cushions will help the knees if you have a little discomfort there. All oh. right, Brad's going to show the next one. Uh, you can do it up on a bed or you can do it on a chair you can, or on a stool. Um, yeah. So, you know, if you're going to, if I do it on a stool, you put a pillow down or... A uh, cushion here, Pete's choice. And looking down, it's like a figure four, but I, I like this one because you can just use some body weight. Um, and I'm going to stretch. I can go a little this way so you can see how it's looking. And I just lean forward, try to keep your back straight. Relax and breathe. I just, it just is an easier stretch, and it's uh, quite aggressive, but you can control it really nicely. All right, then we're going to do the hip flexor, which this really isn't advanced until you go like this and grab your ankle oh. and you put your elbow against your knee and you can move it into external rotation while you're stretching the hip flexor. So here... Uh, stretching this hip flexor and stretching this leg into external rotation. You get two... Which Brad has plenty of. Oh, two stretches in one. 
But good for it, people who do squats. It is really good for people who are in karate who want to get their kicks higher. I'm telling you, it's just side kicks. Ooh. All right. Uh. You can also go right into a hamstring stretch if you want, Brad. You can oh, put yeah. the leg out like this, and you can keep your back straight and yeah. lean forward. Yeah. Keep I, your back straight. I don't want you rounding out like this. Yeah. I want you to keep it straight and bend forward. I always told people, think about bringing your sternum to your knee, not your nose to your toes, and it helps sometimes helps people with their posture. Sure. The last one, we're actually stretching the hip capsule. That's the top fibrous material that's around the hip joint. And uh, the way to do that, you're, you're trying to think about putting that bone right, have it pop out of your hip. So you, <laughs> That's you, a nice way to think about you it. You have this lined up kind of where your belly is, and you're going to lean forward, and you lean off to the side like this. Yeah. Uh, uh. So yeah, I, you feel that ab just above that greater trochanter, the hip, and the hip there. You're gonna noodle around, as Kelly Sartre likes to say, and you can actually move your hip into extra uh, internal rotation and then do it again. So take that foot and bring it out yep. that way, or you can bring your hip into internal rotation and do it again, off to the side like this. Yeah, well you just get different fibers and different tissues stretched and get a complete stretch. Yeah, again, so the biggest problem I have is the frog one, yeah. <laughs> without a doubt. So. Yeah, and you're, you're going to go through these, and you'll find some that you don't work for you. Like with me, the 199 doesn't work at all because of right, your back. Of your back. Just pick out the ones that feel good, like they're good stretches. None should create any sharp pain, uh, and you'll do uh, much better with your hips. Yeah, and remember, Brad and I can fix this about anything except for a broken heart that's right bob but we've been working on this for about 11 years now and we really haven't got very far but we continue to work on it yeah anyways good luck thanks for watching